Good morning, Perry High School. I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Mallory. So, Mallory, are you going to that Perry versus Jackson game tonight at Jackson? Oh, you mean the Perry revenge game? I think I am. I think I might, too. Well, On to your morning announcements. Attention all cast, crew, and pit band members of Drowsy Chaperone. A courtesy reminder that order forms for your souvenir Drowsy Chaperone show shirts are due Tuesday, February 15th. Please make every effort to meet that deadline. Congratulations to the wrestling team for defeating Glen Oak last night 66-4. to This victory clinched their 13th consecutive Federal League title. Good luck to the team in the next week at the sectional tournament. Sophomores and juniors are reminded their completed schedule cards are due today to their English teacher. All career tech or tech prep applications are due to Mr. McGee's office as soon as possible as well. Attention all students interested in taking Spanish 4 or French 4 next year and earning college credit. You can take Spanish 4 or French 4 next year and receive college credit from Kent State University. Applications packets with the admission criteria are in the guidance office on the bookshelf. They will have the blue cover sheet. Applications are due no later than March 28th. Attention all members of the Drowsy Chaperone stage crew. You are asked to make plans to meet with Mr. Jack Everett and Mr. Frank, Frank Trace on Monday, February 14th at 2.30 p.m. in the PHS Madishoni Theater for your first work session. Again, Drowsy Chaperone Stage Crew, please meet for your first work session on Monday, February 14th at 2.30 p.m. Well, that's all we have for today, Perry. And a quick reminder, today and all through the month of Black History Month, we will be having special interviews with teachers around the school. Now, Jordan Bradley and Mr. Stangelo. I'm Mallory. And I'm Mackenzie. Have a great day. Good morning. I am here with Mr. Stangelo, who grew up in Holmes County at Highland High School in Amish country. Mr. Stangelo, what was unique about your high school sports career? Uh, high school sports career, we did not have any football at our high school, um, which is a little bit different for uh, Stark County, but in Holmes County, pretty small graduated with 42 people so we didn't have enough kids to have a football team but we did have a, a pretty good basketball team um, if you think of the movie Hoosiers um, where team goes on, a, on the road to play a game pretty much the whole town follows um, and we were also fortunate enough to win a state championship when uh, I was a junior in high school that's cool um, what type of person was Perry Reese um, coach Reese first of all was uh, my high school basketball coach and also a, a black man that lived in a predominantly white community. Uh, predominantly meaning 99%, a lot of Amish. Um, he grew up in Canton, attended Timken High School, and graduated from Muskingum College. Uh, the type of person that I would say Coach Reese is, uh, or was I should say, um, is someone who would like to have a good time, like to joke around, uh, but at the same time w was very intense um, and, and made sure that you paid attention to every detail, whether that be in the gym or in the classroom or just in your life in general um, within the community. And as a black man in a predominantly white community, did he have any struggles? Absolutely. Um, he, uh, when he first um, lived in Holmes County, he had a cross burned on his lawn, mm -hmm. um, which obviously is... Uh, is um, something that would be traumatic for anybody. Um, he also, <clears throat> you know, some of the things that, that occurred were kind of subtle. Um, stairs as he walked into stores. I can remember traveling with him after I graduated college um, out west and going into um, a restaurant. And it's a predominantly white community where we were at. Here I was with a black man, and we both received quite a few glaring stares just because it was abnormal for that community. Um, he'd also travel through smaller towns in Holmes County, Tuscarawas County, and you know, was very well known. His vehicle was very well known, so he'd get stopped more often than you or I would. Okay, and um, did it challenge your personal beliefs at all having a black coach? Uh, no, I don't think so, only because um, I didn't know any different. Um, I think that I have to give credit to my family in terms of you know, my parents because they didn't preach 
any hatred or racism. So I didn't know that. Um, and then when, when Coach Reese w was in my life, um, I just viewed him as another person who, who happened to be black. Um, but he was more my basketball coach, my friend, my teacher, rather than my black basketball coach. Okay. Um, so being in a predominantly white community, what kind of legacy did he leave behind since he did have such an awesome basketball career with you guys? Personally, I, I named my son after him. My oldest son is named Reese. Um, there's quite a few people that I grew up with who have sons that are now named Reese <laughs> in Holmes County. So there's a whole other generation of Reese's in Holmes County. Um, one of the, I guess one of the big things that he left behind, and I can, you know, you uh, become attached to a coach or to a teacher or to a mentor, and you kind of remember some things that, that they teach you along the way. And I can still hear his voice um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of encouragement and or um, discipline. And one of the big things I always remember him saying was, you know, you get out of something what you put into it. And, you know, I like to think I kind of, live that model a little bit today with you, know, you get out of your career with the work the amount of work that you put into it and hopefully I'll be able to pass that on to my kids and you know maybe some of the students that I've had along the way so and does your son know that he is named after such an influential person in your life yes he does um, we, I've actually taken him to his gravesite because um, he did pass away of cancer when I uh, when I was um, when I was just first married actually um, so I, I've talked to my son about him. I showed him pictures. And I showed him pictures when I was in high school um, with Coach Reese. So yeah, he is aware of, of who he's named after. That's, that's really awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, thank you for your time.